Today, we're gonna be opening up the brand new Paldea collection boxes, starting with Sprigatito, Quaxley, and of course, Hoy Coco. In each of these collection boxes, we are now seeing the brand new silver borders that are gonna be present on all of the new Pokemon cards coming up in the new Scarlet and Violet era. Along with that, we are also seeing the brand new EX cards making their way back into the Pokemon TCG. And of course, we have pins from each of the starters. Okay guys, we're just gonna dive into these packs. We have six of each. We have an awesome selection of Brilliant Stars and Silver Tempest. So we're just going to chug along doing these. We're gonna start off with Silver Tempest. So now I just wanna say it's good to be back. I haven't been here in a while. I know some of you guys are probably like, where have you been? So it was December, I'm still in college. I had finals then Christmas and then all the different holidays came up. I was just so, so busy. I recorded all the videos, but just didn't have any time to edit them. So in the future, you might see them. There might be a few that you don't, depending on if there was good enough hits in it. I honestly don't remember if there were too many good ones, but we shall see. We have a Keldeo and then a Lilligan on the back. So nothing too impressive there, but I am so grateful to be back ready for this new 2023 year. Hopefully this year, we're gonna break a thousand subs. That's gonna be the goal of the channel for this year. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub down below and leave a like and comment down below. Going into the low punny, Vulpix, Mistrevis, Sun Current Reverse. On the back, we have a Dragapult Hollow. Okay, at least we have something to start off with. Not the best, but we'll take it. I know Silver Tempest has become very hard to find, actually. So I'm actually kind of happy to be opening this before Crown Zenith gets released, which we will be opening up on the channel. So let's just keep going here. Altaria, one of my favorite common cards from the set or uncommon cards from the set. Beldum, Lance Reverse on the back. Ooh, a Dragonite Hollow. Probably the best Hollow rare that you could pull out of the set. Three more packs left of Silver Tempest. Not doing too bad. Three packs, two Hollows. That's relatively good, especially out of collection boxes. These are probably some of the best collection boxes you can get right now because it's two of the biggest sets of Sword and Shield based off of popularity and just the cards that are inside. We could chase for the Lugia. We could chase for the Charizard. Endless possibilities. We have a Wallace on the back. A Kling Kling. Okay, not what we want to see. Last two packs. See if we can get anything out of here. So a little bit more of where I've been. Like I said, school has been crazy, but I've also been pushing my online sales. So I am going to be starting an eBay. I am going to be starting a TCG player store, and I'm also going to be starting to do live breaks on the channel. I'm thinking of doing one for Crown Zenith if I have enough traction and enough people that would want to join in. So if you would just, you know, DM me on Instagram, you know what it is. And if not, it's on the screen and we can maybe, you know, do a Crown Zenith break. We have a Rufflet and a Gardevoir. Okay, last pack of Silver Tempest. Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. I also don't know if these would technically be like worth your money, but we could find that out today as well. I feel like maybe we should get a hit out of this one I think we've gotten we've gotten three hits. So we haven't seen Trainer Gallery yet, which I would very much like to see. Dupider. We have a ball toy on the back. We have a Rapidash. Okay, so we have three hollows, no big hits, but we did get three hits, which is actually kind of good for collection boxes. But let's just go into the brilliant stars. Here we go. Ooh weird code card. I don't know if we're going to be seeing much more of um, Sword and Shield in the upcoming, you know, years, months, weeks, because we are switching to the silver border. So I don't think we're going to actually see much of any more Sword and Shield after this era because they're not gonna wanna keep changing back and forth between the yellow and silver. So my recommendation is if anyone wants to keep sealed product of the Sword the sword and Shield era, what is going on here? Okay, the Sword and Shield era. 
I, okay. I would recommend getting in and getting your packs now and then keeping them sealed because it seems to me or it's a potential that they're gonna stop with the sword and shield sets because of the yellow borders. So just something to keep in mind. You have a Chimeco on the back, a Lapras. Not what we wanna see. I'm not doing too hot out of these boxes. I did pay MSRP at $20 each for of these boxes, but I know you could find them on other card shops as well for about, I think, $17 to $18. At least some of the ones that I follow have it for that much. But, you know, I just wanted to go out and see if I could find them myself. Cast form, whoop, cast form, Chimchar, Swak, and on the back, a Garchomp Hollow. Okay, it seems like these are just going to be loaded with hollows, which I honestly don't like that much, but they will be going up on one of my stores in the very near future. And I will leave a link in the description to those as well if you would like to follow me or, you know, buy any of these cards that you see. There still will be claim sales on say there will be claim sales still on my instagram page so just always be on the lookout for those as well fracture reverse on the back we have ooh, not the charizard we want but we do have a charizard v i will at least take that as a hit the v card will it's not what we really want but it's better than nothing we have two packs left see what we can get out of here and we have a that's so weird it's like they have them mixed up for some reason we have psychic vibrava they're probably definitely different print runs but we should just see badoof cleansing gloves on the back we have an arceus probably the two best v cards in the set is a charizard and arceus so i will definitely take the arceus as well maybe we're building up to something in this last pack but we shall see i just want to thank you guys all for watching the video and let's see if we can get anything in this last pack remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video but let's finish off this pack and open this up right here tropius chimchar sneasel reverse on the back we have a heat ran so nothing too notable thank you guys for watching again i will see you guys all in the next video bye